You know, the Chaitanya Charita will read some more of that. That was really good. It is that very son of Jagannath Mishra It is that very son of Jagannath who is the creator and protector of the universes and the destroyer of of the universal miseries a destroyer Lord Chaitanya destroys it with this ecstatic bliss this ecstatic love Really, it's the only way to counteract the threefold miseries is this devotion to Krishna. Okay? Makes everything beautiful and bright. <clears throat> Jesus has to be present too. That's the only one. Same Lord. Yeah, they're all present. Within Lord Chaitanya, they're all present. Everything is inside him. Being fully sense-controlled and all-pervading, he is able to give mankind protection in this age of Kali. Taking birth in the womb of uh, Srimati Sachi Devi, he takes away the burden of this age and brings the process of devotion to himself. The process, you see, he brings the process of devotion to himself. So you've got to know the process. If you if you're not in the process or in the line, okay, you can't know uh, what is devotion. You have to go in, in, into the process, and that's why submissive hearing and inquiring from the the guru. The guru is one who is who knows devotion, who knows Krishna, knows Radha. You know, by personal experience, you know, awakening in its heart or her heart. Okay. So the process of devotional service, see? So you want to um, learn that process. That's why the Lord, he, he appoints an instructor and empowers an instructor and teaches you what's in the book, right? The book. You notice when you go to college, they have a book, right? They have books. And you, you study. You have the professor and you have the book. And then you start learning, right? You have the professor and you're learning. Same thing in devotional service. you got the book of the process, See? of devotion to Krishna. See? So that's the whole thing. That's going to last forever. That's the, my, the point of my job is to bring people to the point of devotion to Krishna. See? But it's a process, you see? Teach the process of devotion to Krishna. So what is that? Submissive hearing and inquiring from a bona fide guru. See? Submissive hearing to the point and inquiring. Hearing, you know, and by regular classes in Srimad Bhagavatam. See, the process of devotion to God, to Krishna. See, that's the whole point of this knowledge, is to get people in line and just listen and inquire. You know, also get their doubts out, whatever there is. You know, get them out. (coughs) Clear that stuff so you can be confident you know, confident that you're in the real process. I mean, you know, if people are doubtful, like, okay, well, what, are you not in the right process? What, you don't believe in Prabhupada's books? Huh? You don't believe in the experience of the devotees? Come on, man. Ah, I say, you know, those who are doubtful but uh, are not looking at, you know, are if you're in the real process, you should see the fruits. Isn't that right? It's a, like business-like, you know? Hey, man, you want to see? Is this... A scientific is this process working? Is are people coming here and hearing? You know, is devotion to Krishna again? We see visible signs in anybody. Is people progressing to that point? Well, if it's working, where is the room for doubt? What the what? What is the doubt? What is there to be doubtful? You see, I know I I, I look like a Gorkhasur Das Babaji. I heard that last class. 
you know, and he went and enchanted in the latrine. Why? Because he didn't want people to bother him. You think he didn't want people that were insincere to bother him. You bl I don't blame him. I do the same thing, huh? You notice? Uh, what do you think? I look like this, man. you got to really want Krishna to be here. Why do you think we throw a few curse words here and there? Huh? Because a person has to really want Krishna to be here. I don't want people like sometimes they come and then challenging and all that stuff. Oh, we're, we're good. Hey, man, Srimad Bhagavatam is greatly pleasing to hear in the society of devotees. So from now, you know, people, you want, you, you know, you want to, you really want Krishna, you'll watch the videos. Otherwise, hey, people come and they challenging and all that energy and all that. What is that? You know, come watch the videos. If you really want Krishna, get purified to the point where you're submissive to inquire. Right? Isn't that? Because why should we want our kirtan to go? You know, to be nice. You know, and even if, if you got doubt, that's okay. Submissively inquire with the doubt. <clears throat> But, you know, that's the whole point. That's why Gorkishur did that, because he wanted to relish worshiping Krishna. And it's hard to find a society of people that really want Krishna, and they'll come up and say, well, just throw me your mercy, Gurudev, you know. And, uh, and his mercy he said, here, we'll be serious about, you know, here's your coping man, you know, worship Krishna. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, so, you know, like, you got to clear your doubts and, uh, and and see what's going on. Usually, the, all that stuff, it's, it's clearable, you know, so you got you to gotta have that relationship. Um, yeah. Yeah, but, and, you know, I'll help, you know, that's my whole point is to analyze, you know, look, hey, man, you know, what's there to be doubtful about? Oh, I... Yeah, well, I, what the way the appearance is, but look at the result. I mean, isn't that isn't that the whole point of devotional service or or anything scientific? You know, if you get a certain result doing something like here, we're looking for a devotion to Krishna. Is that is that result manifesting here? Is it manifesting any better any other place better? Yeah, I mean, here it's at least it's visible. We're out there teaching actively, sharing, you know, here, there, all the time. The, many students getting juiced up, and they're in, and they're just showing the, the the fruits of actually being on the transcendental platform of being enthusiastic service guru bhakti. You can see all these things in these verses are manifested here. You know, who cares what kind of package it's coming in? You know, but you notice it's very good. I didn't think about this until uh, Johan mentioned Gorkishur Das Babaji. Uh, he chanted a latrine. Well, that's basically what we're doing here. I never thought about it like that, but that's really it. I, if people are really not sincere, then they will, they'll be deterred because they're looking externally or they have some motive and they don't, oh, you did this or... You know, I, I'm i actually coming, but I want to control everything. I want to be the in charge, and I think you shouldn't cuss. I think you should do it this. I think, yeah, yeah see, that's that. That's a, like a, a demon inside. You know, hey, man, you know, you I, you want to control here? You're, that's a demigod thing, man, or, or even you know, something against... What? Control? I can't even control myself, man. I come here, I chant Hare Krishna, and I just work on inspiration. See? So, there's a lot of persons like that. They come and they want to control. You know, say, hey man, well, you know, you're going to have to, you come here and you want to control, you'll feel some pain. You'll feel some misery. You'll feel some, uh, you know, like, stuff, and that's the purification. You know, I come here not to be in control. I come here to be controlled by Krishna. Isn't that what you guys are doing? But you see, that's a demigod level wants to control stuff. That's that rules and regulations. See, let's regulate everything. Let's get everything nice and tidy and externally clean. Well, the Lord doesn't work like that. On this level, that's that level there needs to be surpassed and that's kind of what we do here.